been given a ransom for all way back before the foundation to be testified in due time. And then the writer of this says, Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ, lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity, which is another way of saying truthfulness. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Don't be showing a bunch of cleavage women. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't wear the short shorts, women. Please don't. Please be modest. Listen, all of that stuff, that's, that's not appropriate. I'm not saying you don't do it. I'm not saying that, oh my goodness, I've got a contract with my eyes. I have a covenant with my eyes that I'm not going to be looking at other women. This, this one right here, only. This one, only. Adore themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. In other words, they would be shamed to wear immodest apparel. They would have red faces if they did. Not with braided hair, gold or pearls, or costly array. Don't go down to Saks Fifth Avenue and buy your stuff. Don't, don't do that. But which becomes women professing godliness with good works. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. Now, I would like to pause there and maybe continue on next time. But at this point, what, what the Lord is telling us is that men be men and women be women. Men Take on the responsible role. Show by your supplication, intercession, prayer, and giving of thanks. This is showing your strength. Women, be modest. Don't call attention to yourself. You're already beautiful. Don't have to be immodest. And we're attempting as best we can to be obedient to what we find in God's Word. God is speaking to us individually in His love letter to us, His Word. When we find him talking to us, be obedient to his command. Amen. And I think what will happen is we're going to find that our road, uh, most of the time our road is going to be fraught with, we're going to be faced with a lot of potentials for deviating. We will have many opportunities to get off of that nice straight road and go off into the weeds over here, into the wilderness out there, and find all kinds of interesting things. But they will not be God-glorifying. That's true. Now, I'm going to open it up for a question or a comment from each of you. We don't have a giant population here today. They're all up playing bingo or something. They're all doing something. <laughs> yeah. And I will entertain a question or a comment from each of you if that's what you would like to do. Now, we've heard from both women 
and we've heard me talking a whole bunch. I mean, I've yeah. just been. Good stuff. Yes, Good sir. Stuff. That's a wonderful comment. Thank you very much. I'm going to let the Lord take that because I'm I'm sure that you're talking about the Lord's stuff, which He well, gives us in abundance. We just need to fill our minds with it. Listen to the how the Holy Spirit works in us so that we can direct ourselves along the path that he has set out for us. What are your thoughts? Um, well, my thoughts is uh, this. No. Amen. If it's for me, um, for my beliefs and his word, You sure opened my eyes today on something that I've been praying about a situation. Your wife knows the situation. I shared it with her a couple of weeks ago. We yeah. could talk about it privately if that's yeah. what you like. Yeah, it's really opened my eyes. Sure, yeah.